Folks, I'm cold, and this puny little fire ain't cutting it, but I know what will warm me up inside and out, and that is what? Hatch green chili pork stew. To me, there is not a better comfort food to warm you up in cold weather when you've been out all day, maybe you're horseback or you're splitting firewood, or maybe your wife even just locked you out of the house and you're cold. Man, you need to get some green chili stew going on. And I did a video on it long time ago to where we just uses, used it. Is that a word in Oklahoma? In Oklahoma, probably. Yes, I am proud of my heritage and my state. We used it, yes. So. I used pork meat that was a pork loin that I just cut up and cubed up and then we fried just a little bit in a skillet to brown it. But I'm gonna do this a more old traditional way that I had an old Mexican cook provide it to me at in the Gila wilderness up in the mountains and that is with shredded pork. Now we have got some pork butt videos out there to where you can go back Pork butt is really gonna give you that. It takes a while to cook, sure it does, but you get that smoke flavor that's enhancing it that you really need to play a factor in this. So it is the star of the show, except for the one major star, Hatch Green Chilies, yes. Show it. Why don't you Ooh, show us? Oh my gosh, here it is right I here. I know the guy on the bottle. This guy right here. You know, we partnered up with the Fresh Chili Company some tile back, some tile back. Yes, go, just go slow. English is very hard for me today. <laughs> Folks, if you want really fresh, authentic chili flavor from Hatch, Fresh Chili Company is the way to go. But folks, we have partnered up here. Check this out, it's on the website. But let's get right into it and start this pork stew to going. We really gotta have a green chili sauce that sort of blends with them green chilies when we're starting. And who knows what this is? Anybody in the crowd? Duke, Duke, what is this? I'll, I'll let you give it a smell. Please give me the answer. There is nothing to me more traditional than to put in a green chili sauce than a roasted tomatillo. You can do this to roast these in the oven, in a skillet, on the grill, over the fire. Today we're just gonna do it right here in our stargazer that we got over here on our camp shelf. Little burner getting ready to go. We got stew pot. We're already warming that chicken broth. Now it's a full box which is four cups in there. So use three of them. We're gonna reserve the other one. Just core this out like that. Just set it right there in that skillet. Get them all cored. Dry skillet? Dry skillet. But we just wanna roast these a little. Now, if you're doing it in the oven, preheat that oven to about 400 degrees. Put them on a flat cookie sheet. Go ahead and spray it, or you can line it with foil. Floil. English is not my third language. It's like down the line, it's like 10th. Cackle berries. Okay, now use it in a sentence. In a sentence. Cackle berries are laid from a chicken which comes out the butt, which is also called hen fruit. Winder. I looked out the winder to see if anything was still left after the tornado. Britches. I went to cross the fence and it was way too tight and I tore all the butt end out of my britches. Finer than frog's hair. That steak I cooked last night was finer than frog's hair. Line that cookie sheet with tin foil or something because when these cook down, <clears throat> it really gives a sticky substance to there and you won't have to clean it up. Well, as you see, these have charred just a little and they begin to soften up. Now, this only applies if you're doing it in a skillet. Just put your thumb here, mash them just a little, just to sort of flatten them down in that skillet. You can see how this one broke apart right there. That way we'll get that to soften a little quicker. So just give them a little mash. When you know you've mashed too much is when your finger hits the hot iron. You'll know stop. Tomatillos is roasted. Next comes a poblanos right over some open fire. Like I say, if you've got the grill or something going, you can do it there. You've seen me roast peppers many times. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I even use the torch. So we're gonna roast three big of them poblanos. Why do you use the poblano? Well, to me, it's probably my most favorite pepper, green or dried, because when you can take that poblano and you really blister it well, there's so much flavor that you're getting out of there. Poblano's gonna bring you a medium heat most of the time, but it's gonna give you just that really good smoky flavor that you're gonna get out of it. Does this meet your approval, Big? 
And uh, there was a time when we was doing some videos that not all the participants were there. So we're glad to have everybody back with us today helping out. Such a good thing. Well, the peppers are all roasted. You've seen me do this many times. Your favorite plastic sack with a little splash of water. Put them peppers in there. What's it gonna do? It's gonna sweat that skin to where it'll peel off easy. Don't forget this jalapeno that wanted to play a part. It don't take this long to happen, so we're just gonna tie this up gingerly. While that's going on, get you one large white onion. Go ahead and check it in this thing. Four garlic cloves, right here we got them. Now, we're gonna need a little bit of juice to go in here with this. There's a cup left, but we're just gonna start with half a cup of it. So reserve that to see if we need it. We're gonna put a little bit of our mesquite's seasoning in there because it's got that ancho chili in there too with it. And we'll wait for them peppers to get to sweating a little more, put it all in there. And y'all know me, if I can get this thing to work, with the lid staying on so it don't splatter somebody's cabinets or the barn, we'll be in good shape. Now, if in your thinking, that you think this jalapeno might be too hot for you, you can always just reach right in there with a knife, core them seeds out, take them out, get that membrane out of there. That's where the capsaicin is. That's what makes them peppers hot. Go ahead and just split her in two there, drop her in. Now, make sure you get that on there. Where do you plug this in if you're at the chuck wagon, Shannon? Well, we're not. You would run a cord from the neighbor's house. You would need a four mile cord and the cord is way over yonder. And something just fell off. So, we will see if the ninja can do it. Stand back, Cletus. We have power. Houston, we have liftoff. Oh my gosh, Cletus. When you talk about a green chili sauce. That's pretty. Wouldn't you like for it to be green? I would, that's what we're talking about. Chicken broth is hot, it is over here. So let's just go ahead right off the bat and pour this green chili sauce in there. I want y'all to look at that color and the thickness as it goes in there. That's why I say just use a little bit of that chicken broth as you start. One of my most favorite ingredients, hatch green chilies, oh my gosh. There's this much in the jar. Guess how much is going in there? Whoa! The whole jar it is. When we're talking about shredded pork butt, and you can see, I chopped that up really fine, I did. You can chunk it, you can leave it in long strands. So if you're gonna smoke a pork butt, my top tips would be, hey, for this, if you're gonna get a big one, it's probably gonna weigh six pounds, cut it in half, because you're just gonna need half of that meat in here. It's gonna cook faster. And I recommend you what? Use that cherry wood. And I love to use good cherry wood from the Smoky Woods people because it gives such a great flavor to that pork butt. When you get it off there, let it cool a minute, shred it, get it in this pot because... Could you also do it in a, like a slow cooker? You could put this in a crock pot. And it's just like we did the broth here. Go ahead and turn that crock pot on high before you ever get ready. Pour that broth in there, let it get to warming, and then let it cook down to where that meat will just fall apart. You can chop it, you can shred it, throw it in here. Would you add any like um, liquid smoke to it to give it a smoky flavor or no? If you're gonna add liquid smoke to something directly on meat itself, be sure and have you like a half a cup of water or a cup of water. Put your liquid smoke in there, mix it up really well because that way it's evenly distributed, not just pouring it on a direct spot. If you're just putting it in a crock pot, put it in there with the broth first, not directly on the meat. But let me tell you what really goes well with this is our chili seasoning. So go ahead and we'll just add a little bit of this. It's got a cumin, oregano, everything in it, smoked paprika that we need. We're gonna let this simmer for about probably 45 minutes to an hour, because remember the pork is already done. We're just trying to get that flavor to really instill and spread throughout. Cover it, keep an eye on it, stir it occasionally. I want you to taste it to see if you need to add any more salt or anything like that to it.
as we're waiting to, for this to cool off just a bit, do you know how hard filming is on Cletus? I mean, it wears Cletus out to film. It really does. The expectation of thinking that I'm going to get something and the waiting and the waiting. He's so excited, as you can tell. If you need to thicken it even more, you can use cornstarch and water or you can use corn masa and water. You just add, have cold water and cornstarch, mix it in there, make sure you're at a simmer near a bowl, pour it in there and stir, it will thicken. Same way with the corn masa. When you pull up a bite, you want to see that pork in there and you can see them strands of pork that are hanging off there. This is best served with a homemade tortilla, especially the kind that Shan makes, and we've got a video that will link you back to there. What is the secret to a good tortilla? Bacon grease. There you go. But I've had a lot of good help today, and they can't eat this, it's too spicy. So, how about a tortilla, Big? Mate says, that is not beef, it is not pork, it is just a tortilla. Duke says, it's all right, they're soft and easy to chew. <laughs> Since you're a big dog, Cletus, you're going to get a whole one. There you go, buddy. And we have no idea where Sadie is. No, Sadie's behind you. Oh, Lou, Lou, there you go. This do one. Do you eat yours with tortillas? I do. I like to roll that tortilla up. And I just like to put it in that broth, very first thing. Mm. Okay, and here's the thing too. So the pork butt that you used you had added a little barbecue sauce yes. when you had cooked it. Yes. But you you said you wiped it all off. Yeah, I rinsed it off a little. But, but I'm telling you, this is one of the best I've had. And I think it's because it had a little of that barbecue sauce, like, leftover flavor to it. It could have that red mud will bring what so, we... My, so what I'm saying is, like, would you recommend them, like, if you just had a regular pork butt, would you add maybe just, like, a tablespoon or so of barbecue sauce to that? I would probably add at least two tablespoons, you know, like to the mix it into, mix it the, into the pork broth, mix it with the pork butt, or mix it in with the broth itself. It was so good, and it, I think it just gave it a little extra kick. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Makes me want to do the La Fiesta. Mm. Woo, Duker, that was good, it is. I'm like Shan, this may be the best batch I've ever fixed in my life, and I have cooked this for a long time. I'm thinking to the recipe, we're just gonna go ahead and tell the good folks out there, add you two to four tablespoons of that Red River Mud barbecue sauce into that broth, you ain't gonna go wrong. Mm. See that dripping off there? I mean, that's money right there, that'll spin. We thank y'all so much for tuning in. I wanna wish you all happy, happy new year because it is a great way to start off the year. It is every day above the grass. But most of all, it is with privilege, honor, that I tip my hat to all the service men and all the women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag flying over camp. We commend you each and every one. Rest of you, come on in here quick because I'm hungry and I'm cold. You got a big, big new year hug. A big new year hug. Ah! God bless you each and every one, and I'll see you down the Green Chili Pork Stew Trail. Did you get anything? I'm starving. <laughs> he hadn't had his breakfast.